have our used radio. Let's see how it looks. I like unboxing stuff. You never know what you expect. What's up everyone? Welcome to the Gaza Performance Garage. Hey, today we have a small video. I want to show you guys how to change out the center console pieces. I have a used radio that I have to put in because the one, the stock, fa the factory radio, is, the volume button is not working. Uh, these cars work much better with a stock radio. Um, do recommend keeping the stock radio because it doesn't look the same when you have. Okay, yeah, something just came in. Yeah, all right, nothing important again. Listen, does not look good when you have an aftermarket head unit. So what we're going to do right now is just to change out the old one. And let's see if the new one from the car that I got on eBay works properly. Um, let me go ahead and jump up here. Yeah, excuse the uh, low light. Big fan, big fan. Woo! Freezing. Yeah, I call this a tornado. That's how hot it is in the garage, man. You see how loud it is? But it's needed. It's <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is just chill out with a cyclone, which is this one. This is a good piece. Um, Let's do an unboxing here. I'm gonna show you what I got. All right guys, here we have our used radio. Let's see how it looks. I like unboxing stuff. You never know what you expect. Yeah, this came from uh, all the better. Ooh, look at this. Anything else? Nice. Let's put it on top of this. I don't want to scratch my countertop. Okay. Our viewers for support, moral support, and the support that you guys give us, it really feels good. Um, also, it gives me encouragement to put out more stuff. So, you guys go ahead, man. Give me, uh, give me a pat on the back or something like that. You know, moral support is great, and um, I really do appreciate everything you guys do for me. Um, there's a video coming out for you guys uh, by the time you see this you should already it should already be there and um, let's go ahead and get to work guys welcome back all right things you're gonna need you will need an extension with a 10 millimeter socket and you are going to need these these are plastic trim pullers uh, to pull off things like this inside of your car. Very important, you don't want to use a screwdriver, you want to use something like a plastic uh, trim puller uh, or whatever. You may have a different name for it, but I, I, you know me, I go rogue on these things. This is a preferred one I use with this. I'm going to make sure ignition is off. I'm going to take this. I'm gonna go like this. Push under gently. And this comes out. Okay? Just like that, it pops right out. Now you gotta be careful because the clips in the back need to be taken out. And there's two of them. One is uh, kind of like hardball always. This is the third time pulling it out. It comes like this. All right? 
that's out the way. So we have four bolts here, but apparently somebody went in here already and uh, lost two of the screws. Huh. I wonder if there's somewhere here. I know I did pull some screws out here one time. Hmm. Anyway, this is the ashtray. Okay, I gotta clean this up. I'm not putting it back. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna get another one. This is really cruddy. They had that laminate, wood laminate thingy on there and it stripped off with time and heat. So I'm gonna see if I can either clean this up and repaint it or just replace it. This, you just pull it right out like that. So what you do to pull it out, you just open this, grab it by here, and pull it out, okay? All right, that's out, your vent's out. Just be gentle, especially with the AC piece. Now, we're gonna use our 10 millimeter Be sure not to lose the bolt. Very important. Let me see if I can find some of these. I know there are some bolts in here somewhere. I'm gonna have them I got a whole bunch of bolts. All right. Now that's it. I said there was only two, and there's supposed to be four. So you're going to take the unit along with the AC control panel all together. And you're going to have to make sure you don't scratch your pieces. So you gotta pull it one by one. So AC get pulled out. And now la radio. La radio. Radio. Like right here. Okay. Like kinda hard to pull out. I'm gonna have to get a uh, do some scratch. Stay right there. Let me go get a, a pinch of flyer. So we have our needle nose pliers and our Phillips screwdriver. Okay, I am now going to pull out the back and okay, one, two. All right. That's out. So you have your head unit along with your temperature control unit. Uh, you want to separate these two. So what you do, since I'm changing the radio, I'm just going to pull the bolts for the radio. Make sure you put it in a, in a spot where you can get it. I'm not going to use no power tools because you don't want to cross-thread any of these pieces. You see how basic it is just to easily pull out everything right here? That's Lexus for you, you gotta love them. Remember, you only want to pull the radio out. You don't want to disconnect the other one because it's it's what's holding the bracket together. Don't use no power drivers because it can cross thread these screws. Give it the regular uh, hand tight which is good. I hope you guys can see this pretty well. For me. Alright, so what we do to remove this, 
we take this, pull it apart, just like that. Uh -huh. Just like that. You're old. Look how beat up this shit is. Look how beat up it is. You, as you can tell, it had something on there and somebody must have used Scotch-Brite to clean off the glue from the, pa the panels. Um, when you, 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 you want to put these things on, like these wood looks, don't get them. It's best to stay stuck with what you got. Right, now I'm going to squeeze in the new. Now remember, this is from a 2002 Lexus GS300. Side at a time. Uh huh. And it clips right in. Uh huh. Voila. Perfect match. Same color. Took me a while to get this. Same color match because some come in light gray, and uh, it's a real bummer when you get missed colors. All right. Here we go. Wonderful head unit. I am going to show you how to connect it. Hopefully you can see We're gonna install Everything backwards the same way we took it out the same way. We're gonna put it back in backwards So here this clip for the radio This clip right here Then we want to plug in your antenna sure to plug in your antenna guys do not unplug it and forget and now last but not least our heating and ventilation control unit this in gently it should fall right into place and there's uh, some dowel pins that are in the back right here let it sit into the dowel pins don't force it in it has to be in the dowel pins all right now I'm going to put one up here and one on the other side so it's like crisscross Jump, jump. Daddy Mac will make you. Crisscross. Take your time when you're doing these things, guys. No rush. The unit's not going to run away. All right, snug. Do not use power tools. Snug. Now we're gonna connect these two here for the heating and ventilation. You gotta be careful with these because these can break these two pins. So you gotta be careful, okay? Also, you line these up here, these two pins on the top right here. So you can't go wrong, do not break these, okay? Let's plug them in. Great, I gotta set my time back again. Okay, I'm going off of the pins on the roof and slide them in. All right. Let me get my keys so I can remove this. to put the shifter all the way to the neutral position. Okay, be careful with these. These two pins gotta slide in on the, the selector right up on the top right here. 
Booyah! There we go. Now what we're gonna do is start this car and see if it works. Isn't that car sounding beautiful? Okay. What do I see here? Sink. Thirty. And uh, it sounds, as I said, Yes, it works. It's pretty old time. <laughs> that is awesome. Never worked before. Great. It works. Okay. What I have here, you guys probably know about these, because I do have um, Bluetooth as well with my phone through like Spotify and all of those things. And by the way, Spotify and all those companies, they're not sponsoring me for to call it their name, but I use their platform. I use this transmitter right here, and it has a charging unit right here built in. Plug this in. I'm gonna put it to 98, 97.9. Hopefully it does have it. 87.9. Yes, it's all in. I'm gonna save it. And it should be all the way in already. Okay? I'm recording from this phone. Very nice. Listen guys, I hope this video was very helpful for you. Um, be sure to comment in the comment section if you're not clear on anything. I'll be very happy to help you. Uh, I don't mind at all. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope it was very helpful for you and how to change out your head unit to put back in another stock unit. I got lucky with this wonderful piece. Personally, I do not have cassettes, but I have CDs and I have Bluetooth, so I plug them right here. Perfect. All right. So, with that said, guys, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit the up the thumbs up button, and also subscribe to the Gaza Performance Garage and hit that notification bell. Thank you very much for your time, and remember, peace, love, and happiness. Thank you.